it's like another f like form of like reverse psychology. Like I'm just sitting there thinking about this shit. Like, so I always try to think about like, what are they really doing? Like, what is the real agenda? What is the real agenda to the shit that they doing? Right. So I'm like, all right. Evidently, like there's yeah, um, yes. I poured some in my cup because I didn't have any more. All right, it's okay. All right, so I try to think um, about like, what is the real agenda that they're targeting Michael Jackson for? Like, what's the, what's like the purpose of that? Because that it this shit didn't just come out, bro. This like it just reminded me. This just added on to more the fuckery. Of all the things that just happened, like, this whole year. Like, just... All right, so let's, let's backtrack, right? Let's go all the way backtrack. So we start the year off with Soldier Boy fuck shit. And what was after Soldier Boy? Uh, Soldier Boy Tiger Beef. Then there was the Chris Brown allegation shit. Then there was the Jesse shit. Then there was All-Star Weekend. Then there was the NFL. Then there was... I mean, the Super Bowl. Then it was the fucking Grammys. Then it was BET Weekend. Then it was R. Kelly. Then it was not R. Kelly. Then it was Jesse Not Guilty. Then Je like, bro, it's, bro, it's been so much fuck shit, bro. Then it was 6 9 goes to jail. Then it was 21 Savage from London. Then it was just, it was just so much fuck shit. Then with all that being said, The moment I start thinking to myself, they don't really care about us. They targeted Mike. The moment, like, the moment our brains... No, just think about this, bro. The moment our brains start saying, wait, maybe these niggas really don't care about us. They don't really care about us. The moment we start thinking about that, Bro, they targeted Mike. Now, this is the coldest part of all. Somebody made a full documentary. Now, you got to think, documentary, this shit was produced. Like, you can't just make this overnight. Like, it was produced, and this shit's been... It's been done. It's been sitting in the cut, waiting for the right time. They've been sitting in the cut, waiting for the right time to release, right? So, now, in this era, we're releasing a large amount of traction and attention pointed towards these people, such as R. Kelly, such as, such as R. Kelly, such as Michael Jackson. And it's crazy because... These are not the people that we should be even worried about when it comes to child abuse or like like rape and shit like that. Like these are not the people we should be even worried about. Like it's not. But I thought about this, right? And you know my main my mind always play devil advocate. Like I always think two two sides. Some people may say, yo, they like be contradicting itself, but a real person that's in this world is going to always contradict itself because there is no real right answer to nothing especially if you didn't create it so you don't know the truth so there is no real right answer you're going to contradict yourself you have to right so i thought about this i start to see the world in a in a reverse reverse psychology way right so first hear me out first i was mad at them for pulling michael jackson stuff like pulling his pictures down and pull, they pulled his statue down today. I was mad. I was really mad, right? I was mad. And then it clicked in my head. They want us to fight for Mike. No, we shouldn't fight for Mike. Let him pull all that shit down because that ain't the image of Mike we need to be seeing anyway. Think about this, Reg. We don't need to be seeing the white mic. Not my boy, white mic, but we don't. No, fuck that image of Mike. Fuck that one. Pull all them, pull all them fake looking mics down. Pull them down. 
We don't need to see that image of Mike anyway. Pull that one. Burn it. Burn all the pictures of that Mike. We don't even need to remember that Mike. Burn it. Pull it down. Pull, uh, pull, fuck that Mike. We don't want to see the fake skinny nose plastic surgery Mike. Fuck that one. Burn it. Pull it all the way down. Burn it down. Burn all the images of that Michael Jackson. Burn them. You know what's crazy, bro? Michael Jackson was so much of a celebrity. They really did a thing to where they, bro, the same thing they did to quote unquote Jesus is the same thing they did to Michael Jackson, bro. Take the plate to the kitchen. Bro, this man, Michael Jackson, is Caucasian. Caucasian knows he even got a Caucasian booty chin. Mike might be the first nigga to ever get chin surgery. Man, no black people got booty chins. What's wrong with y'all? He got a booty chin. He got the he got the, the family guy thing. Man, no black person on the face of this earth got a booty chin. They gave this man a booty chin, bro. That's a Caucasian trait. My son said, what's a booty chin? Well, white thing, son. My man Mike got a booty chin. They gave him a booty chin, a skinny little nose. They dyed his whole body. On top of dyeing his whole body, they even made his children not black. Bro. Bro. They really made Michael Jackson Caucasian and then sold us the image of Mike being Caucasian, bro. They don't, you notice, they don't, <clears throat> they don't never promote dark skin Mike. When you go to a Halloween store and get a Michael Jackson costume, what you see on the front? When you go to the store and get a Michael Jackson costume, what you see on the front, <clears throat> you see white Mike. You don't see you in today. Hold on, my nigga. Oh, let's go to Google because you know how Google work. <coughs> Google. <coughs> Michael Jackson. Let's go to Google. Bro. Who is this nigga, bro? Look at this, bro. Hold on, my nigga. Look, this is Michael Jackson, my nigga. My nigga. This is Michael Jackson. Look at his facial structure. Look. Look. Look at his over. Look at his lips. Look at everything, my nigga. Look, bro. My nigga, is no way in God's green earth this is Michael Jackson. It's not possible. No, you're not listening to what I'm saying, bro. You not, y'all not understanding what I'm trying to tell y'all, my nigga. Bro, 
This is Michael Jackson, my nigga. This is the image that we need to be promoting. This is the image that we need to be promoting. Who is that? Black people don't have these. Okay? That doesn't even look like Michael. That looks like an alien. It is. Black people don't have these. It's okay? Crazy. He looks like this. He looks like this. And he looks like this. Son, this is Michael Jackson, son. Why is it white? <laughs> son. I mean, white. This is Michael Jackson, son. And that is an alien. This. <laughs> Ain't no fuck, fuck, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Man, what is this? This ain't even a human. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, this ain't even a human, bro. This like a real life sclatikit. This look like something you'll hit with a shoe. Man, what is this? Y'all laughing. This like a real live men in black thing. It's like one of them. Hey, Joe, want a cup of Joe? This is like one of them coffee worm things that's be in the cabinet. And then this bitch had the nerves to say, Michael, bitch, I should bank you. You out here talk about you, Michael Jackson, daughter. She had the nerves to say that she is biologically his. This, Reg, this bitch was in an interview saying that they are blood biologically. If you don't get your Goku looking ass out of there, bitch, you about to do a Kamehameha any second. Man, where the Dragon Balls at, man? So you mean to tell me this nigga right here <coughs> had one of these? That looks like, um... You mean to tell me this nigga right here had one of these? Man, you don't shut this... Hold on, where Michael Jackson's son, Blanket? That nigga named Blanket. How you just name your son Blanket? Where you at? Ew. Man, you don't get your Jacob from <laughs> Jacob from Twilight looking at <coughs> I wouldn't doubt if they did I wouldn't doubt if they gave him plastic surgery to make his nose a little wider so he could be a thing. Man, who the fuck is this nigga? Spaniard. Man, you don't get your Native American looking at Cherokee Indian looking at nigga. You ain't no motherfucking Mike, son. Why is his name Blanket? Look, that's why Mike tried to throw his bitch ass off the thing. Man, this ain't my son. This bitch ass nigga out here. Mike tried to swindle his shit on the set. This ain't my kid. Man, I should drop this motherfucker. He tried to drop it, but they had a magnet on the baby. He tried to drop that bitch. Get off me, man. Oh, Paris Prince. And Bro. They trying to tell me that this Michael Jackson's son. Man, look at this boy hair. Man, you niggas. Yo, I swear to God, bro. Look at that butt, sir. Look at this nigga hair. This ain't nowhere near on God's green spanking earth. Fuck a earth. Earth. Nigga with an F. Earth. Ain't no way in God's green earth. This Michael Jackson son. Not a... Man, what's this? 
Oh, man. Look, bro. I'm getting tired of y'all niggas. <gasps> Carrie Bishman. Who this? Carrie Hilson? I mean, that looks like Miley Cyrus. Man, it's one of them bitches. Bro, the same thing they did to Jesus, bro. Look, Mike tried to do it. Man, this ain't my damn son on the set, man. Get this thing off me, man. Ah! <laughs> Look, the baby bit him and all that. This is like a, a terror. The baby bit him. Look, you see, y'all ain't see that. It was like a little demon in there. It, uh, so, man, this a girl. This ain't even a dude. What's these things? Man, the baby bit him. Well, nobody told your ass to run. Let me see. Are you okay? Yeah, alright. Bro. These niggas been doing a the thing, bro. Then you know what's you know what's you know look, I'ma tell you. I'm going to tell you one of the coldest parts about all of this, right? I'm going to tell you one of the cold, look, this, this the coldest part about all of this. You don't see his kids with no black people. If you, look, you don't see the kids hanging with no dark skinned cousins or nothing. You don't see the kids with Janet kids. Nothing. They just... Man, who is these? No, this can't be Michael Jackson kids. Nope. Look at this nigga in the background. That's Uncle Sansa. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm really my cousin, but, you know, I'm on the payroll, so I ain't even gonna say nothing. These dumbass white people wanna act like they as kids and pay me six million a year to not say that shit. I'd be quiet in the motherfucking shit. Look at him. I know damn well to make these motherfucking kids, but shit, I'm gonna just look to the left like I don't even see the camera. Shit, I don't even know these niggas. Shit, let me check my motherfucking PayPal real quick. I'll be all right. Let me see. What you hit your arm on? The eagle thing. What eagle thing? I don't know. Right here. Oh, well, go wash your hands and then put a band aid on it. Look at him in the background. I mean, to be honest, I'm not even going to lie. I think it is my son. He kind of look like me a little bit, but they pay me too not to say nothing, so I'm not just gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna stand here in the background, and hopefully, somebody can see us a resemblance. <laughs> hopefully, somebody can see us as a resemblance of me and my son. Is it possible they really look like me? Maybe so. Is it possible? But I'm not going to say nothing. Man, you don't get these bunk ass kids the fuck out of here, man. Look, they trying to do a thing. Look, bro. They trying to do a thing of saying this kid look like. Man, I swear to God, bro. This shit be making my bo it be making my blood boil, bro. This shit really be making my blood boil to like another return, bro. God, this hurts. 
I swear, bro, this shit be making my blood boil, bro. Like, it's low-key sad. Like, this shit's sad, bro. Yeah, this shit's sad, my nigga. Yo, I'm going to be all the way real with y'all, bro. I came to the final conclusion. I came to the final conclusion. There is an epic, there is an epic agenda and plot to destroy every one of our figures. And when they get a figure that they can't destroy, they'll most definitely change the image of that figure and also change the offspring of that figure. So down the line, 500, 600 years from now, people won't even know. They won't even think. Wait, Blanket died. He should have. For all I care. He said, it says dead. Look. So to be honest, with this type of shit, when I see shit like this and I see the epic plot, the epic plot to like change the image of certain shit, I did look, I'm gonna say some shit that it it might be off the wall, but I'm gonna really just say it. I think Tesla was black. I think Tesla was black. I I think I like when I see shit like this. I think everybody was black back in the days. Everybody, but I don't care. Everybody, bro. Everybody that ever did something great for this whole world, I believe all them niggas was black, bro. Everybody, these niggas did an epic thing to change the history of every. Every fucking black person that did something amazing in the history, nigga, his whole image been changed, bro. Every black person that ever did something in the history books, his whole image been changed, bro. I think Albert Einstein was black. I think everybody was black. That's just, I'm going to just say, I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. I'm going to just say, I think everybody was black, bro. Everybody. My nigga, they dead ass went to the pyramids and shot off all the faces, bro. Just so we wouldn't remember them things had big old black noses. Bro, they went to the pyramids and shot off the noses. They went, though, it's a, look, fuck the, fuck this war on black people. I don't give a fuck what they doing to us now. They could be shooting us, Mike Browns and Trayvons and all that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. There is an epic agenda to destroy who we was. The problem with us, we'll never know what we are. Because we don't know who we was in the past. So we'll never be able to move forward when they keep tainting our images. So if they make sure we never look at ourselves like more than what we are, then we won't never become more than what we are. You got some black people that think our lives started off as slaves. You got you got some people. Like, I, you know who I really think was black, bro? Leonardo da Vinci. I think Leonardo was black. I ain't nothing you I could tell me. Ain't It ain't shit you could tell. Nope. I think Shakespeare was black. Mm -hmm. I think all, nigga, Mozart. Everybody, bro. Look. This is the problem. The problem is, if we don't know who we was... We won't never be able to know who we are in the future. 
The war is not in the future. The war is the past. The objective is to destroy our past. Y'all ain't watched the movie X-Men Apocalypse? You ain't watched the movie X-Men Past, Present, Future? Bro, the war is not about the future, bro. The war is about the past. Destroy our past so we won't never be able to move forward in the future. We don't know who we are. The average black person think we started off as slaves. I used to think that when I was a lost nigga. Bro, that's, that's literally what led me on this path. They didn't drop the bathroom. Lying. Bro, when I was growing up in Watts, I thought we just started off as slaves. Like, that's what I thought. Like, when... I thought, okay, our people used to be slaves and then we got free. That's all I knew. I didn't know nothing before that. Nothing. That's all I knew. We started off as slaves. They brought us on boats from Africa. And and somehow, no, this is what I thought. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is what I thought. I thought we started on boats. I mean, we started as slaves. They took us from Africa. No, this is what I thought. We started as jungle African caveman things. They went over there and somebody from Africa sold us to the slave owners. The slave owners brought us to America. Then we were slaving until Martin Luther King said something. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought about black history. I thought we were slaves and then Martin Luther King said, we shall overcome. And then after that, nigga, we was like able to work in things. That's what I thought. Nope, 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 nope. And it made me realize how many people still think like that. How many people don't know about Huey P's and Fred Hamptons and all them niggas? How many people just know Martin Luther King? How many people just know we were slaves? And Martin Luther King and Malcolm X is a lot of people. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of motherfuckers just think we were slaves and that's it. We wasn't nothing else. Bro. It's a epic. It's an epic plot to destroy the education system is a system, bro. It ain't no education system, dog. This shit is a trap, dog. Sometimes I sit back and think about all the shit I learned in school and school history. It tell us about all the fucking conquerors, nigga. Columbus, motherfucker, all the war generals, nigga. All the mo It tell you about all the war generals, all the colonists, all the... You learn all the presidents... You know what's cold? You know what's another thing you don't really learn about in school, though? This is how you know it's epic. One thing you don't learn about in school is the king and queen. Mm -hmm. They don't never tell you about the king and queen in school. You don't learn about that. They don't tell you about Master Musa. They don't tell you about, bro. They don't tell you, my nigga, when you wake up and you go, all this shit they never told me. Bro. It's wild, bro. So I get it. The school system is a trap, bro. It's an epic trap to destroy the dog shit out of us, bro. They don't tell us about Egypt. They don't tell us about nothing, bro. They don't tell us about nothing we really need to know. It's a trap. So, like I said... I get it, right? The epic plot is to destroy what we was in the past so we won't never move forward in the future. Dear black people, and I know it's a lot of non-black people in there just listening, and I know y'all probably feeling some type of way, but look, fuck y'all. All right, this shit ain't about you niggas. This shit is about us. Y'all niggas got y'all history. Y'all learned everything y'all need to learn. And y'all learned all y'all extra shit. And y'all know who's who. Y'all got all y'all motherfucking Thomas the Thirds and all that. We don't got nothing. So what I'm saying is this. 
Sit your bitch ass back and listen to what I got to say and don't say a goddamn word. Today we going to talk to the black niggas. Dear black niggas. We need to figure out who the fuck we are. And the moment we figure out who the fuck we are, we can power the fuck up, bro. Dear white people, I want y'all to know this. Because y'all doing a big ass thing to oppress us because maybe y'all think we going to try to fight y'all. We don't care. Okay? Dear non-black people, we don't give a fuck. We just want to power up so we could do dunks and shit. We don't... We don't really care to fight y'all. Like, if a nigga, if a black nigga find out he could do something powerful, the last thing we thinking about is come and fight y'all. We don't give a fuck about you niggas. And I don't think we ever cared. If I found out I had some magical powers or something, I'm going to enter the dunk contest ASAP. On the set. If I found out I had some magical, like, superpowers, bitch, I'm going to try out for the NFL ASAP. We ain't about to... Look, my nigga. Black people don't give a fuck about y'all in no way or form. We don't care. Stop trying to make us care about y'all. We don't care. We don't want to fight y'all. We don't want to stand up against y'all. We don't want no revolution. We don't want none of that. We want to use our abilities for our own goods and have fun in our own thing. We don't care about y'all. We don't care. That's y'all always want to fight and do things. We don't care. We don't give a fuck about what y'all doing. We trying to impress ourselves. Man, let a nigga find out he could do like a super Hulk. If a nigga could jump like Hulk, right? I'm going straight in the dunk contest. Triple backflip dunk. The bitch give me tens all down the line. If I could do the Hulk jump, you know where he jumped so high, look like he flying. I'm, a, You know how niggas be like, all right, they be pulling cars into the stadium and shit to jump over the car. I'm going to tell them, take the roof off the stadium, bitch. <laughs> Take the roof off the stadium. Oh, what he's about to do. It looks like the whole sky is opening up. Whoa, he's about to do something fantastic. Bitch, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump to the moon, bitch. I'm going to have a court on the moon. (laughs) I'm going to jump way to the moon and windmill that shit. Way on the moon. They going to have the cameras going to zoom way to the moon. See me wimp through the legs all the way through the sky. Look, look, dear all non-black people, stop trying to not tell us who we are because y'all scared we going to do a rise up thing. We don't care. What the fuck? Just tell us who we are so we can get our power so we can do our regular things and our hood things. Y'all niggas always trying to get a little extra thing. No. Stop trying to hide our powers and stuff from us. We, look, we don't care about what y'all doing. We don't care about the clans. We don't care about nothing what y'all doing. Nigga, we gonna be flossing on each other. Nigga gonna walk by with a Gucci little, you know, like the little Goku. You know how the little Goku aura be coming off when he power up? Nigga, that shit gonna, it's gonna be G's around the nigga floating a bunch of Gucci aura G's. That nigga fly. You seen this Gucci aura? That nigga Gucci aura out the game. He fly. Bro, we, my nigga, we don't care about y'all, okay? We need our powers for ourselves. Let us get our powers back. Dang. What y'all nigga scared of? We don't care about nothing what y'all doing. We don't care. We just need our powers back so we could just be fly. Look, when you look at all the ancient Egyptians and all that, we been started this fly shit. Fuck you. Nigga, as a black person, getting flying new? That ain't a new thing. 
My nigga, we been balling. Fuck you niggas talk about. We been balling. Plenty of chains, gr- nigga, gold plated, nigga, all type of shit. Nigga, we been balling. Nigga, this ain't no new things. It was y'all niggas had no swag. I need you to take that cream mask uh-huh. and get baby fever reducer. Okay. It was y'all niggas ain't never had no swag. You be looking at Sir Pope's the thirds and shit. Yeah. Oh, it's over. I ain't making it. Madi, I'm not making it. Huh? It's 9.54. I'm not making it. Bro. It was... Hold on, bro. Let me show y'all niggas, my nigga. Look how these niggas was dressing this shit. They ain't have no swag back in the days. Homeless Kanye clothes looking ass niggas. They ain't have no swag back in the days. What's these? Rain boots? What's these? What are those? Look at that nigga. These niggas ain't have no swag back in the days. Let's go. Like a young <laughs> Egypt. Egyptian gods. Look, my niggas, whores and them was swagged out. Look, fuck you niggas talking about. I got my gold stick. Nigga, we lit. Nigga, fuck you niggas talking about, bitch. We was thugging back in the day. Nigga, plenty of gold. Look, my niggas was thugging. Look, my nigga, look how fly we was back in the... We was fly. Look at her. She had on her sundress. She was lit. Look, had on her little sundress. You feel me? Had on her little sandals and all that. Look, look, you ain't see that, though. That was the early Gucci. <laughs> he had a, She had on the early Gucci dress. Look, lit. Egyptian drip was lit, my nigga. Nigga, the Egyptian drip was dummy lit, my nigga. Y'all, y'all niggas had no swag. Look, he just looks stupid trying to. Man, get your. Man, you don't get your Fever 21 model looking ass out here. Man, the Egyptian drip was lit. Look at my boy Thoth and them. Lit, my nigga. Plenty of gold shafts and all type of shit. Look, she had on, he had on her fly fitted hat. You feel me with the gold plate in the middle? Bam, we was dummy lit. Y'all niggas came with that no swag thing. Hold on, let me go with the nigga. Let me go to y'all old school judges. Y'all niggas brought this stupid thing. What? What was y'all thinking when y'all used to wear these things back in the days? What do you want me to go get? And get what? Y'all niggas brought this look. What was that? Y'all, what was y'all thinking when y'all was doing this? Y'all niggas gay. Y'all brought this no swag looking thing. Look at these niggas, bro. Man, you don't get your Popeye the Sailor cousin looking. Y'all really brought the no swag thing. We was swaggy when we was back in the days. We was dummy swaggy. Look, he think he hard. Man, you don't get your stupid looking ass out of here. We was swaggy back in the days. Y'all brought this stupid ass look.
This shit is stupid. Man, you niggas weird. I'm tired of y'all weird ass niggas. Hold on, let me go back to my African swag. Even my African niggas, they ain't really have too much. You feel me? But they knew how to rock it, though. Look, shit, nigga. We ain't got nothing, nigga. But we gonna rock our swag and our elephant trunks, nigga. Feel me? You fly. You feel me, nigga? We ain't really had too much, nigga. But we knew how to rock. We had swag. Look at all these swags and swagging. Nigga, plenty swags. Look, my boy swagged out. Look, you feel me? Got his piece on, feel me? Jesus piece. That was the first. That was the first piece. You feel? Got his cotton piece, one hundred percent fourteen karat cotton, lit. You feel me? African swag on lit. Got his jewelry gold blinged out, wristband, boom bam, orange band, bam bam. Feel me? The first Gucci belt. You feel me? <laughs> wham wham wham. African swag lit. You feel me? Lit drip gang on lit drip. You feel me? Got my gold band on here, the drip lit. You feel me? Got my beads like the drill lit. You feel me? Got my little blunt on the side, little blunt for African blunt. You feel it? It's a bong. It's like a small bong, but it's like a blunt and a bong drill. You feel me? Got my little sweaters, little feathers drill. Gang on the drill. You feel me? Got my fresh cut. You feel me? You ain't never seen this cut in the new age. What kind of cut is that? That's super hard right there. That's like the Kimmy special. Hey, what kind of what kind of lineup you want? Let me get that Kimmy G. You feel me? She gave my nigga the Nile River. Let me get that Nile River edge up. You feel me? It's lit. Drill lit. You feel me? Nigga, my African niggas is lit. Nigga, fuck you, nigga. Talk about. Look at my boy. He on his cell phone and all that. What's that? A Motorola razor? Lit. Oh, my mama, look. I'ma just tap these holes real quick. Tell him, tell him I got all type of cows. You feel me? Pull up. I got plenty of cows. Pull up. You feel me? You know, he had a dummy African hoe. Look at him on the set. Bitch, better stop playing with me. Got his little pin stick. Bitch, pull up. Bitch, pull up. Look, he telling all of that. Bitch, pull up. It's going to be popping tonight, bitch. Ain't nobody here. We got all the space. We got all the cows and all that. Look, whatever cow you want, bitch, I'm lit, bitch. I got all the cows. I got brown ones, black ones, white ones, nigga, light brown ones, dark brown ones. Bitch, look, off white ones, bitch, I'm lit. Bitch, pull up. Yo, my African niggas was lit back in the days, bro. You know, they got all the hoes. Telling you, my nigga. Y'all niggas is on some weak shit. All right. Y'all niggas on some weak shit. Bro, our people really like swaggy when you really think about it. We like it. We swaggy. Hold on. Let's go to y'all thing. <laughs> 